Hey guys, um, I've had several people ask me, how do I put uh, fillable, like fill in the blank or fill in boxes in a Google Doc? So I figured I'd just go ahead and make a video on this um, and tell everybody because like I said, I've had several people ask me. Um, so I just go ahead and put it all in one video. So there's two different ways you can do this. Um, the first way I'll show you is pretty easy. I've been doing this for years. Um, it works probably 75% of the time for what I want to do. So let's say you just ask a question. Uh, this works pretty well for free response questions, but you can do it for anything. If you said, you know, who was the third president? All right, now, um, typically what you've had is if you type that and then you, you know, in the old days of pencil and paper, you print that out, you leave a couple spaces there, kids could write there. Um, and now what we've done is we're doing everything digitally with all the, you know, um, 2020 world that we live in. So uh, what I've done is you can actually click insert and do a one by one table. So insert table one by one. And what it does is it puts this, uh, this table here and a student can type their answer in that table. And the great thing about it, they can type as much as they want and um, it'll just keep expanding. You just make a one by one table, then it automatically makes number two. Um, and then you can do the same thing, you know, who was the third or the fourth president, same thing, insert table one by one, and you can keep going and going. Um, now this works, like I said, pretty well for, for most things. It's what I've been doing for years, but I had, um, Somebody asked me, hey, I want to do a fill in the blank. So it would say something like this. It would say, you know, um, you say Thomas Jefferson was the, and then they want to put blank president, right? And then you want to do fill in the blank. Well, you know, until now what's happened is, you know, somebody types here, and then you wind up with that and it looks terrible and it's a mess and it's impossible to grade or read or anything like that. Um, so what, what I've come up with and what I've found, and this isn't always the easiest way, but it's not terribly difficult. Um, you click the spot and notice my cursor here is blinking the spot where I want to put the blank. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna insert an equation. So in down here in insert, you see insert equation. And then it gives me this toolbar right here um, with different equations, you're going to ignore all of those. Um, but if you look closely here, between the word the and president, where my cursor is blinking, uh, you notice there's now a square box around it, or a rectangular box around it. And you can actually type an equation in there. And what we're going to type, we're going to type forward slash, which is the key right above enter, uh, and then the word underline. And then I'm going to hit the uh, space bar a handful of times. It doesn't matter really how many you type or how many you hit. And now what we've come up with is now a, a line there. And when somebody goes to type on it, it types on top of the line. So they could do a fill in the blank. And the great thing again, you could do this. And I typically, when I do this, I hit, uh, I hit the backslash um, underline. And then I, I hit about five times because again, just like these boxes, if somebody types, it expands as big as it needs to. Now, why do I do this? Because I do both of these things here because it makes it much quicker and easier to grade. So when I have students uh, type something in here, you know, they could type, they could type, uh, you know, the, the answers in there and I can just easily see, boom, uh, you know, question one, that's what they put. Question two, that's what they put. Question three, that's what they put. And it lets me grade these much easier. It also helps, um, you know, if I do trading grades, it helps with that too. But I just wanted to show you guys how I do this and two quick and easy ways that you can do, um, that you can do fill in the blank type things. The other thing now, again, if I want to do another fill in the blank here and, um, and I want to put another one. 
see if you notice my equation bar is still here. I could just hit new equation, backslash underline, and then I could do that, and I can say, boom, and then again right there, it gives me the place to type that in. And then you could assign that on Google Classroom, and then kids can type in everything that they need. So, uh, like I said, several teachers asked me for that, so I just figured I'd go ahead and make a video, send it to everybody. Um, so if you have any other questions, feel free to hit me up and ask.